Okay, we're going to go online to download the WinX DVD Ripper first. I typed in Google WinX DVD Ripper free, and it brings us to the appropriate page, winxdvd.com forward slash DVD dash Ripper. Click on free download. Look at the no thanks. Download the free WinX DVD Ripper. Otherwise, if you click on download free trial, it will be installing the premium, uh, the platinum edition. I do want to save this file on the computer, and then as soon as it's done saving, we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, I'm going to run this installation software. Okay, that just popped up a little advertisement for the Platinum Edition. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to tell this to register later for now. I'm right now inserting a DVD from a service that had a bad webcast. So we want to get an MP4 video file for from that DVD. I just put it in the disk. I clicked on disk up at the top to choose the source of the video file. I'm selecting the disk right here. It only gives me one option. It only has one track selected. I'm going to select both tracks. I might just be needing to download uh, to rip the second track. The first track might be this um, front page. Uh, remember the output folder. Uh, it'll ask later uh, about where if you wanted to open up this folder as soon as the recording is complete. So you don't need to memorize it, but it helps to know exactly where it's going to put it so you can find it later. Leave to MP4 selected. Click Start. You see here that it has a way of choosing to open the output folder when the conversion is completed. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to check shut down the computer. If you had a, a computer that you only wanted to serve the purpose of ripping this DVD and then you were going to come back a week later, you might want to check off that shutdown computer when the conversion is completed. It's going to take a little while, so I'm going to stop the video at this point. Um, as soon as it is done, though, it will pop up a window saying to open up the uh, the folder. It'll it'll ask you if it'll tell you that the video is completed, being ripped, and then ask you uh, to open up that that folder. And then you go ahead and click on that button, and it will bring you to the uh, file manager, opening up the folder where uh, which was selected right here. We're going out or the upgrade. It's opened up the output folder where this MP4 video file has been st uh, stored in. It looks like each of these is pretty big, so I'll go ahead and uh, find out which one to upload. Each of the videos looked like they were the same size, so I went ahead and I'll just choose one of them. I'll choose the number two. Here I am on Ustream. This is one method for uploading the videos. For the upload videos, it says drop files here or select them from your computer. I recommend using the select from your computer. I'm going to go ahead and put in the path to, that the videos were stored to. And I can see that this is actually the one that was saved uh, uh, later. I'll choose that one. Now for the video, we can put a title. I'm 
I've entered the title and a description, so I'm going to go ahead and start the upload of this video file. In the meanwhile, I'm also going to upload the same file to a channel on YouTube. So here I am on YouTube. I've signed in. I've gone to the video manager and I see the uploads. I'll click the upload icon again. And then I'm going to choose the file to upload. Let's make it unlisted for the moment. I'll go to the same place which was in the videos under the My Documents. And select Open. I've already started the upload of the video, but I'm going to go ahead and put in the video titles here. I'll separate them by comma. And leaving it as unlisted. And I can go ahead and leave this all by itself. Um, all the changes were saved. If I go back to the video manager, it'll just be uploading the background. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this alone for a while. When it's done, then I'll be able to get the embed code. Typically, you can go ahead and copy the embed code by uh, viewing a video on YouTube and then looking at the share. Same thing with Ustream. Now you've seen that the uh, Healing Pools Taught by Wetmore video is completed. Uh, it's finished uploading, and now there is this link for the video. So we're going to go to the video address and then we're going to retrieve the embed code. So here's the video showing. If you scroll down a little bit where it has share, click on the share link. Look for the embed code. It will automatically have that embed code highlighted and then you can right click and copy that embed code. You can then paste this embed code onto any website, wherever it allows for code to be put, or on a form that asks for that embed code. I'm going to demonstrate how to capture that, um, get that embed code from Ustream to put on your website. Uh, you've logged in. Now we're going to go to the dashboard and then choose the channels. Choose the correct channel here. And then go to videos. And once the video has finished uploading, it will show here. I'm going to go ahead and take another one here. I'm going to go hit play. And then we'll start playing here. I'm going to go to share. Click on this embed code link. says embed code for this channel, normal size here. Copy to that to the clipboard. Now I've gone to a respective site where I can put that embed code. I put the title and information. But here where it says code, I'm going to go ahead and paste in that embed code. You can get rid of part of the embed code if you really care to, which is just, uh, if you know the HTML code, what is just the video streaming by you stream and announcement. But what you need is from the I started iframe to the end of the iframe right there. That's the important part. Then go ahead and click Insert. And you're all done.